Okay, so you vacuum the pool, water level's good, you're halfway up that skimmer opening, use your test strips and you tested the water. There's a couple things on here that might be a little bit of a lighter color than you'd like to see. Remember, we wanna be in that medium color range. So the first thing we're gonna add is our balancers because everything in life needs to be in balance, right? You have to balance work and home and school. You wanna eat a balanced diet. We also want your water to be balanced in your pool. So we're gonna look at your balancers for that. And there are three balancing components. The first one is alkalinity. We have your pH and then there's calcium hardness as well. So alkalinity plus is the first thing we wanna add. It's the first letter of the alphabet. It's a good way to remember your alkalinity. Remember our good rule of thumb is no more than five pounds at a time, and we wanna add chemicals two hours apart. So alkalinity is something we're just gonna broadcast over the top of the water. You're gonna let it circulate through. If you need more than five pounds, wait a couple hours, add the other addition. The great thing about alkalinity is it serves as a buffer for your pH. There is a lot of things that are gonna affect the pH in the water, and your pH is actually your measure of acidity that's in the water. I have a little scale behind me here that kind of explains that a little bit better. On the low end of the pH is acidity, so think lemon juice, vinegar, those kind of things. And then on the high range of that pH scale is basic or alkaline, they call it. I also sometimes call it squishy bar of soap syndrome. You can tell, especially with a hot tub sometimes, if you're really cloudy, hazy water, could be that the pH is a little bit high. So we can adjust adjust the pH. And what you're looking for with your pH range is 7.2 to 7.8 is, the, is the, the goal that we're looking for. Ideally, you wanna be at 7.4 because 7.4 is the measure of pH in your eyeball. So we're looking for bather comfort for that. So remember alkalinity in range first. If your alkalinity is in range, then we know we're getting a true pH reading. So let's say that your pH is a little bit on the high side, you got that squishy bar of soap thing going on. So we can do pH minus. pH minus is actually adding just a little bit of acid to that water, so we're bringing that back down into that range. Because it's an acid, you have to be a little bit careful with this. It is a powder, so it's easy to use, but we'd like you to add this to water. So take a half a bucket of water out of the pool, add your powder to it, mix it up, pour it back in and let it circulate. It's better than taking this and putting it in a bucket and then adding water, because we don't want it to plume up on you. But because you are adding a little bit of acid to the water, you should wait about six hours before you swim. These other guys, you can wait about two hours before you go in, okay? pH, wait six hours. Powder to water, not water to powder. So this is for pH reducer. Well, let's say your pH is a little bit on the low side. Remember, alkalinity is in range, but the pH is on the low side. Same thing, we have pH plus. A little bit of water out of the pool, add the powder, pour it in, let it circulate. Right, makes sense, everybody get it so far? Three components, alkalinity is the first, second is the pH, and then the third is the calcium hardness. Calcium hardness is a, a liner conditioner, I guess. It's really, really important for the life of your liner. Plus it'll actually warm your pool water and it makes the water sparkle a little bit more. Um, water likes to be hard and it is gonna seek out this mineral. If it doesn't have enough calcium in the water, the only source that it's touching is your liner, right? And your liner is made up of a bunch of different minerals. So it's gonna pull the calcium mineral out of your liner and it makes your liner expand and then it buckles over on itself. And that's when you get those hard, brittle wrinkles that you just can't get out. So very, very important to keep your calcium in range. The nice thing about calcium is it does not fluctuate. Your alkalinity, your pH, those can fluctuate, but your calcium, once it's in, it's in. Don't be surprised, beginning of the season, if we recommend that you should probably add about 20 pounds of calcium hardness, or maybe even 40 pounds if you have a big in-ground pool. Uh, the bigger the bucket of any of these things, the better value it is per pound, so it doesn't hurt to buy a big bucket of something anyways. As long as these powders don't get wet, they're good for the following season. Um, liquids, if you have them, as long as they don't freeze, they're good for the next season as well. But all of these guys come in different sizes. You can even do pods if it's more convenient for you. You just kind of throw them into the water too. Those work very, very easily. Any of these things can be found on our website. Just go to shop.pettispools.com and you'll find everything there. Or again, call us, email me if you have any questions. All right, thank you. Those are your balancers. Good job, you guys.